Hello and welcome to Lipper's Fun Flows Insight. I'm Jeff Turnahoy. For the week ended November 14th, 2012, investors didn't really change much in their allocation decisions, tending to sit tight following the uh, presidential election. Overall flows were pretty light. We'll take a look at our macro groups and see where this week's activity was. Starting off at the top, equity funds saw only about $1.6 billion in outflows this week. Taxable bond funds took in about $1.1 billion. Municipal debt funds also had inflows, about $613 million this week. And money market funds had about $5.5 billion in outflows. Well, this is the first full week of flows since the presidential election. And overall, investors tended to sit tight and not want to make any rash decisions. There was a lot of concern going up into the election as to what the next uh, presidential uh, winner would who who would that would be and what the uh, composition of the uh, Congress would look like overall it looks like business as usual and I think that's caused a little bit of concern in some pockets of the uh, funds industry let's take a look at equities and see how investors responded there again with about 1.6 billion dollars in outflows this area has had uh, outflows for three out of the past four weeks so not too much different there negative sentiment over Overall, seems to pervade the group uh, d with domestic equities uh, still in that outflow mode. About $1.7 billion leaked out of those accounts uh, this week. They now have 17 consecutive weeks of outflows. On the other side, we saw non-domestic equities take in about $123 million. They've had seven consecutive weeks of inflows. Overall, I would say this is a bet against the U.S. by investors, uh, at least at the margins. They're not content with the way things have turned out in the election. Although, again, with not a whole lot of great choices out there, uh, most investors are tending to stand pat. So at the margins, a little bit of activity, a little bit of concern about what's going on in the U.S. Uh, if we look at the more frequent activity, the, the traders out there, let's look at our ETF scoreboard. Here we saw the most activity uh, with uh, the MSCI EFA. Um, the, I'm sorry, the MSCI Emerging Markets, the EEM, uh, take in about $842 million. This came in a week when equity ETF saw outflows of about $1.7 billion. So uh, investors choosing some of the emerging markets, going after some riskier assets, at least in this example. Overall value plays such as IWD and IYR uh, were also fairly good recipients. They took in uh, slightly less than $300 million each. So maybe on the one hand, we've got investors looking for risk assets, others looking for more income uh, security during a uh, sort of a tumultuous period, at least in a transitional government. Uh, overall, bellwethers like the SPY saw outflows as investors sold off core uh, products. And again, depending upon which side of the risk spectrum you were on, um, both ends tended to move while the middle standard pat. The next group to take a look at is taxable bond funds. Again, about $1.1 billion in total inflows this week is pretty light. I think it reflects some uncertainty by uh, taxable bond fund investors. Uh, a lot of concerns now about uh, what will happen with the tax code moving forward. Uh, and we'll talk about that when we get to municipal debt funds overall. Uh, this week, products from Double Line Total Return, again, led the scoreboard as far as flows go. We also saw the Lord Abbott short duration uh, come in a close second with their inflows, as well as uh, the uh, U.S. Treasury Fund from GMO. Now, if we take a look at uh, taxable ETF funds, uh, we saw a slightly different picture here. Again, these ETFs had about $789 million in outflows, so a little bit different from what the mutual fund investor had in mind. Um, they took in about $1.7 billion last week, so I think there could be some concerns about uh, the taxable uh, consequences of this election, maybe some other concerns about inflation as well. Overall, we saw treasuries take in money and high yields uh, shed assets, HYG and JNK, uh, spelling most of the assets, uh, most of the outflows in uh, taxable uh, ETFs this week. So overall, maybe uh, on this end of the equation, the, uh, the riskier assets were not in play. So a little bit different from where we saw some of the um, uh, activity in other pockets. Now, to get back to the tax 
consequences uh, that we may look forward to. Municipal debt funds took in about $613 million this week. Uh, that's a pretty good showing for them. Um, general and insured, uh, in other words, a long-term national muni saw about $198 million in inflows. High yields took in about $176 million. The rest of the states uh, were fairly flat. So overall, municipal debt activity picked up a little bit. Uh, uh, yields in this group are also uh, quite low, and uh, we, we do think that if there's more talk about raising the uh, uh, top tax rate and municipal debt funds, we'll certainly see stronger inflows in the weeks and months to come. The final group to take a look at is money market funds. Here about five and a half billion dollars in, uh, in assets were pulled from them. This takes their year-to-date total to $136 billion uh, pulled from their coffers. This industry, the money market funds industry, is now about a third smaller than where it was about four years ago. And certainly this has everything to do with this very, very low interest rate environment. Investors tending to pull money out of money market funds before they put money back to work. So until interest rates pick up, uh, this probably is the, the, uh, the, the standard uh, way of looking at money market assets and flows um, until then. So uh, overall this week we saw uh, institutional investors take money out, about uh, $1.7 billion. Uh, retail uh, investors also took money out. So uh, between both groups uh, we didn't see uh, much uh, reason to put money to work in money market funds. So overall um, a fairly quiet week as far as flows go. Uh, join us again next week and we'll uh, take another look at flows in mutual funds and ETFs. And feel free to join us online at any time at lipperusfundflows.com. Thank you.